Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn essential computer graphics concepts every 3D artist should know. Let's get started. A vertex is a fundamental building block in 3D modeling. It is simply a point in 3D space defined by its x, y, and z coordinates. When multiple vertices are connected, they form edges, and when edges enclose a space, they form faces. Together, vertices, edges, and faces make up the geometry of 3D model. In computer graphics, a face is a polygon, a flat 2D shape formed by connected edges and vertices. In 3D modeling, polygons are used to create the surfaces of 3D objects. They can be classified based on the number of vertices and edges they have. A triangle is a polygon with three vertices and three edges. It is the simplest and most stable polygon in 3D modeling. Used widely in 3D engines because triangles are always flat and render predictability. A quad is a polygon with four vertices and four edges widely used in 3D modeling due to its ability to support clean topology and smooth deformation during animation. Quads are often preferred because they can easily be converted into triangles for rendering, ensuring compatibility with rendering engines. An N-gon is a polygon with five or more vertices and edges. While it offers flexibility during the modeling process, it can lead to issues such as rendering artifacts or deformations problems, especially if the surface isn't perfectly flat. Engons are typically avoided in final models for animation or games as they usually convert into triangles or quads for better performance and reliability. Topology in computer graphics refers to the arrangement and connection of vertices, edges, and faces. Good topology is essential for smooth deformations during animation, preventing issues like unnatural bending, stretching, or collapsing. It ensures that when subdivision surfaces are applied, the model subdivides evenly without artifacts. Clean topology also helps optimize polygon count, improving performance, especially in real-time applications like games. Additionally, a well-structured topology simplifies the UV unwrapping, making the texture process easier and more accurate. Overall, proper topology is crucial for creating efficient, realistic, and functional 3D models, and it plays a significant role in the final quality and performance of the model. Retopology is the process of creating a new, cleaner mesh with optimized topology over an existing 3D model. Retopology is done to reduce the number of polygons for better performance, to create a smoother and more animation-friendly mesh, and to fix messy geometry from sculpting or scanning. UV mapping is the process of unwrapping a 3D model's surface into a 2D space, allowing the texture to be applied to it. The U and V axes correspond to the horizontal and vertical directions of the 2D texture. Essentially, UV mapping takes the 3D model and flattens it, like unfolding a 3D object into a 2D plane. This unwrapping enables you to accurately map a 2D image, such as texture or painting, onto the model's surface. UV mapping helps optimize texture space, ensuring the texture is applied without distortion or stretching across the model. Texturing is the process of applying 2D images onto a 3D model's surface to give it detail and appearance. These textures can represent different properties of the model like its color, roughness, or bumpiness. Texturing adds visual details like patterns, colors, and surface imperfections to the model. Here are some commonly used important texture types in 3D modeling. Diffuse or albedo map defines the base color of the surface without any lighting or shading effects. 
Normal map simulates bumps and wrinkles without changing the model's polygon count. It is an RGB image with bluish purple tones. Roughness map controls how smooth or rough the surface is, affecting how light scatters. It's a black-white image data. Black areas are completely shiny, white areas are rough. Metalness map defines which parts of the material are metallic or non-metallic. Black areas are non-metallic and white areas are metallic. The Splazement map physically deforms the geometry of the surface based on texture values for real depths. Black areas are flat, white areas are raised, altering the geometry. Ambient occlusion maps adds shadowing in crevices or tight spaces for extra realism. Dark areas represent shadowed crevices, light areas are exposed. Shading refers to how the surface of a model interacts with light, determining how it looks under different lighting conditions. It defines the material properties such as how shiny, smooth, transparent or rough the surface is. Shaders are used to define these properties, making a model appear realistic or stylized. For example, the glass shader is used to create a glass-like material on a surface. It simulates the appearance of transparency, light reflection or reflection making the surface look like real glass. This shader is commonly used to windows, bottles, or any objects that requires a clear or frosted glass effect. In short, texturing adds surface details to a model, and shading controls how the model appears under light. Lightening in computer graphics simulates real-world light to illuminate scenes or objects. It affects how surfaces appear by influencing their brightness, color, and shadows. The intensity of light determines how bright it is, while the color sets the mood of the scene. The direction of the light decides where shadows fall. Proper lighting enhances realism and brings life to the 3D scenes. Shadows and highlights add depth, making 3D objects appear more lifelike. Lighting interacts with textures and shaders showcasing the surface qualities like roughness or transparency. Lighting Types Direct Lighting Light comes directly from a source, for example the sun or a lamp, and heats objects. Indirect Lighting Light bonds off surfaces, illuminating areas indirectly. Global Illumination it creates more realistic lighting by considering both direct and indirect light resulting in softer shadows, more natural color blending, and greater sense of depth. In short, lighting is essential for realism, visual impact, and improving the overall quality of 3D graphics. Without proper lighting, even the most detailed models and texture can appear flat. Rendering is a process of generating a final image or animation from a 3D scene while calculating how light interacts with the objects, materials, and texture within the scene. A render engine is a software or algorithm that converts a 3D scene into a 2D image by simulating how light interacts with objects, materials, and textures. It calculates things like shadows, reflections, refractions, and how light bones in the scene to produce a realistic or stylized results. Cycles is a ray tracing rendering engine that produces realistic images by simulating how light behaves in the 3D scene. Ray tracing is a rendering technique that simulates the way light interacts with objects in a scene to produce highly realistic images. EV is a real-time engine that renders faster but with less realistic lighting suitable for quicker previews or stylized results. Other engines like Arnold, V-Ray or Redshift, each with its own methods for handling lights, shadows or materials. 
To achieve a realistic result, the engine calculates multiple rise samples per pixel. This process helps to reduce noise and calculate accurate light interactions. The more samples per pixel, the cleaner the image but slower render times. Rigging is the process of creating a skeleton for a 3D model which makes it possible to move and pose the model. Bones are the building blocks of the skeleton. They define where the model can move like arms, legs or facial features. Joints connect the bones and allow them to rotate or bend just like real joints in a body like elbow and knee. Skinning is the process of attaching the 3D model to the skeleton so it deforms correctly when the bones move. Weight paint is the process of defining how much influence each bone in a rig has over specific parts of 3D model. It ensures smooth and natural deformations when the model moves. Rig controller objects are special tools or shapes added to rig to make it easier to animate. Instead of directly moving and rotating bones, animators use these controllers to pose and animate the character or object. For example, a circle shape might control a hand or an arrow shape might adjust the position of an entire character. Forward kinematics is a rigging method in which you can move and rotate each bone manually starting from the root. For example, to pose an arm, you rotate the shoulder, then elbow, and finally the wrist. It is best for precise and simple animations. Inverse kinematics is a rigging method in which you can move the end of the limb and system calculates the position of the other bones automatically. For example, moving the hand adjusts the shoulder and elbow automatically. It is the best for complex animations like walking or grabbing objects. Shape keys, in other words, blend shapes or morph targets are a tool in 3D modeling and rigging used to create a store variations of a mesh shape. These variations can be blended to create smooth transformations. It is typically used for facial expressions, morphing or fine-tuning. Constraints are tools that help automate and control how bones or objects move, rotate or scale. They make animation easier by following specific rules or relationships. They ensure realistic and consistent motion like keeping feet on the ground or making an object follow a specific path. In short, constraints save time and effort by automating complex or repetitive movements in the rigging process. Animation is the process of making a 3D model move over time. After the rigging is done, the next step is to create movement like walking, jumping or any action you want the character perform. Keyframes are important points that show key moments or changes. They define the position of an object or character at specific points in the animation. Keyframe animation involves setting these key points and the software automatically generates the in-between frames to create smooth movements. This process is called interpolation or in-betweening. For example, to animate a character's leg moving, you set keyframes at the start and end points and the software fills in the transitions. Blending and combining animation is mixing two or more actions so that they transition smoothly between each other. You can blend actions like a walk cycle and a jump. The software automatically smooths the transition between the two motions adjusting their speed or intensity. Cycle animation typically refers to animations that repeat a specific movement or action over and over, like a loop. For example, a walk cycle would show the character walking and once the cycle finishes, it starts again. It saves time and keeps movement consistent.
Motion capture is an animation technique in which real-life movements are recorded using sensors or cameras and applied to the 3D character for more realistic animation. Actors wear spatial suits with makers or sensors that track their movements. These movements are then translated into digital animations. It's commonly used for realistic character animation in movies, video games, and virtual reality. It saves time and ensures natural, lifelike motion. Facial animation is the process of animating a character's face to show expressions, emotion, and speech. It focused on movements like blinking, smiling, or talking to make the character look alive and expressive. Retargeting is the process of transferring animation data from one character to another. This technique is widely used in 3D animation to save time. To retarget, you need a source character with an existing animation and a target character to apply the motion to. Pa animation is the process of making an object or character move along a predefined path in 3D space. It's commonly used in vehicles moving along roads, tracks, or flight paths. It's also used to make a character follow along a path. Camera animation is the process of moving animating virtual camera in 3D scene to create dynamic shots, angles, and transitions. Camera animations bring scenes to life by adding movement and perspective change to the virtual camera. Physics engines or simulation systems allow you to simulate various real-world physical phenomena. You can use these systems to create a wide range of static and dynamic effects including water, cloth, hair, grass, rain, smoke, and more. Simulation add realism to animation by creating natural-looking behaviors that would be hard to animate manually. Baking is a technique that saves the result of complex effects or animations to be used later. This way, the computer doesn't have to calculate them every time, which helps speed up rendering and makes the process easier. These results are typically stored as cache, texture maps, or animation data. Texture baking is the process of pre-calculating complex visual effects such as lighting, shadows, or surface details and storing the result as texture maps. This technique helps improve performance by avoiding real-time calculations during rendering. Simulation baking is the process of pre-calculating and storing the result of physical simulations such as fluid, cloth, smoke, fire, or rigid body interactions into files. So, they don't need to be recalculated during rendering or real-time playback. This helps save time and resource by using cache data, ensuring faster and more efficient simulation playback. Compositing is the process of combining different visual elements such as images, video, and effects into a final scene. It allows you to blend various layers such as smoke, explosions, or background elements. Post-processing is the process of improving or changing a rendered image or animation after it has been created. This can include adjusting colors, adding effects like motion blur or lens flares, and making the scene look better overall. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial.